This episode of Diary of a Madman is brought to you by my new book, Novel Idea to Podcast, How to Sell More Books Through Podcasting. If you're a writer looking to grow your readership and your fan base, check it out on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, wherever you purchase your ebooks. I know what you're thinking. You think you're safe, don't you? That you aren't the kind of asshole I might pick out of a crowd. You're not like this wife-beating piece of shit that I've got my eye on. You've assured yourself there's no way you'd ever be in my sights. You're a good little citizen. You pay your taxes and go to bed at a sensible hour. You have morals. And because I've chosen this asshole, you've decided to project your morality onto me. <laughs> oh, wrong. Oh, so fucking wrong. Your real problem is you started identifying with me. You started painting me as a victim of circumstance. Let me tell you, I'm no fucking victim. I made this bed and I sleep like a baby in it. The last thing I need is your sympathy. I have a better moral compass than you can ever dream of having yet. Me. The so-called monster. I know you think you're better than me, but you're not. You dress up your babies as Batman and Superman and great Great fucking role models, kids. You let your toddlers watch Ninja Turtles kick seven shades of shit out of people. Come on, kids, let's aspire to be vigilantes. And you let your ten-year-olds onto the virtual battlefield and your twelve-year-olds wander the digital streets to jack cars and do drive-bys, shoot up snitches and drug dealers or just randomly beat hookers up to a bloody pulp. The world is your oyster, kids. Don't let anyone get in your way. And why? All in the name of entertainment. There's a reason this shit has an age-appropriate label stuck on it. But you just look straight past that so these digital babysitters can provide you with a little space to check your social media or check in on all your friends who have such rich, fulfilling lives. Oh. The disappointment was you discover only a handful of people like your ever so witty post. And then you feed your dissatisfaction by stuffing your fat fucking pile with takeaway and a diet soda. As if that's going to help. Yet another awesome role model for future generations. (laughs) Perpetuate the problem, right? (laughs) But you're never the problem, are you? (laughs) You have the audacity to step onto that moral pedestal and tell me I'm wrong? That people like me are the reason this planet is going to hell? Why the world is so violent? Wake the fuck up, people. I'm not the cause. I'm the cure. What I'm trying to do here is teach you the way life is. The lesson isn't that fucking hard, or at least it shouldn't be. But if the only way of getting you to see it is to staple your fucking eyes open, I will. Morals. (laughs) Morals. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You're not that far removed from this wife beating piece of shit. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that you are the cause, the catalyst to people like him. You create these monsters because teaching your children takes too much time away from your selfish pursuits. You leave them to fend for themselves in this cesspit of world created by your own inanity. You are the reason I exist. <laughs> You are the reason millions die each day while you put in your earbuds and drift off to la-la land and dream of what could be instead of getting off your fat fucking ass and making dreams a reality. So, I pick out an arsehole who likes to think he's God and show him the error of his ways. There are millions of you just like him walking around out there, unquestioned by society who are too nice to say anything, too polite to do something, anything, So don't go thinking you're safe, because you're not. You're far from it. You're an asshole, and I always target assholes. The only reason you haven't choked on your own cock yet is because there are more deserving wankers out there than you. Those that take it to the next level. Those that thrive on hurting people. You need to learn And I'm here to teach.
Don't worry. I'll get to you eventually. No. This little prick likes the power. So let's see what he's like with that. Truth be told, I already know. I've consumed this type many times over. I guarantee the little boy he's picking on is stronger than him when the pain begins. This prick? No. <laughs> He'll wail like a baby begging for his pitiful excuse for a life. He will literally piss himself with fear. I will make him promise me that he will never hurt anyone again. Give him that glimmer of hope. And then I will make him hurt. Watch that spark of hope fade from his eyes and turn to horror and finally regret as he realises he will never hurt anyone again. That this is his final hour. Nice and slow for this one if I can. If my plan isn't interrupted. Maybe slice him open and draw out his intestines. I haven't seen a slow death in such a long time. That's always such a pleasure, seeing the expression of disbelief as they realise they're still alive, even though their guts are literally spilling out in front of them. <laughs> Mother always told me not to play with my food. <laughs> That's where all the fun is, Mark. Before we get to the credits, I just want to encourage you to please, if you're enjoying the show, head over to iTunes or wherever you download and leave a rating and review for the show. It helps other people find The Madman's Diary. If you're interested in writing your own season of The Madman, head over to pulsating.com, use the contact tab and send me an email. Let's start a conversation. Lastly, if you want more Madman, if you want more dark fiction, become a patron. All levels of patronage get something of value. Free stories start at a very low rate of $2 a month. For multiple shows, multiple stories per month, even during the off-seasons. You can do that by going over to patreon.com forward slash pulsating, or by heading to the website pulsating.com and clicking on the support tab. This season of The Madman was written by Dohai. You can find him on Twitter at Dohai666. The Madman is played by the one and only Kareem Cronfleet on Twitter at BullshotUK. The music in this episode was provided by Raul Vega of Rose Drive Podcast. Until you hear from us in Episode 5, stay twisted. <laughs>